Good morning. Good morning. What are you making? You're making pancakes. You're making pancakes? Yeah. You guys making breakfast with Jonah? Yeah. Jonah making oh, Steve, pancakes? This we need more mitts. Yep. More Steve, don't worry about it. You'll get a turn, huh? At 9 o'clock. Aww. Can I get this out? Are you making pancakes? Can I eat some? Sure. No, and we sure. Have, you no. can eat, Mom. Good morning, friends. It is Saturday morning. I look gorgeous. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, so, our cow is on its way here. In fact, two cows are on their way to my house. Um, Derek and Jonah met up with Derek's parents, Oma and Opa, to pick up the cow, but they, I guess the way they bagged it, we're going to need to separate it out and divvy it up. So, um, they're going to come here with the cow because they live way up north and the um, meat plant is right by our house. So, they're almost here and we're going to divvy out the meat to the family. This is what Derek's parents do for Christmas every year. It's the sweetest gift. Seriously. Um, blessed for them. Seriously. So, thank you. Thank you, Jim and Laura. Mm -hmm. So they're going to come here and divvy out the meat for the family and then we'll put it in our freezer. So join us today as we share with you what a cow haul looks like. A beef haul? A whole cow haul? Yeah, that's what we're going to show you. So stick around and you get to see what a haul of cow, holy cow, looks like. <laughs> is that okay? That's, that's, that's. That's a whole cow. That's a whole cow. And we this had a is whole a whole cow on the back of our van. Oh, we have a oh. side. Oh, this we isn't the whole cow. The half cow. So, <gasps> so this is one oh, cow. Sides, one cow. <laughs> That's just one cow. Oh. That's half, and we have the other. Half. So this is half of one cow, and this, this is, is the other half. The other half. Oh my gosh, Here's you guys. Another chuck. But if you want to know what one cow looks like, there you go, guys. Two chucks. Two chucks. It kind of looks creepy, like, what's the black bags in the back of your car, Laura? I know. <laughs> I thought I gotta go to the car wash. <laughs> because if you get <laughs> stuck in traffic and it, like, leaks and you okay. get, like, blood. <laughs> okay, so this isn't even all of it. The kids are and Derek are back upstairs with laundry baskets bringing more meat down from our car. What you saw was us splitting up an extra bag between the families of cow. So we're going to have a little bit over a half of a cow. Um, I think Derek said a full cow. So we'll see what he says. So I have my paper, my pen, and I'm going through all this, marking how many of what, what that we have. That way I could get it up on the freezer. So when I meal plan and do freezer meals, I know exactly what we have. So we need to hurry because it's starting to melt because it's it was pre-frozen. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've already divvied out the ground beef. I don't know if this is how it's all going to look in the end, but we are I think we're definitely going to use the drawer for the ground beef, though. Um, so we calculated 116 pounds. pounds of ground beef. And we're a two-pound ground beef family. Like meatloaf, two pounds. Tacos, two pounds. So how many meals did you say we had? We'll have, close, we'll have around 60, 60 meals. 60 meals with just the ground beef alone. If we do two pounds each time. Each time. Wow. Okay, so now we're going through these bags. We're um, putting in piles the different roasts, the different steaks, and getting them together in the freezer. So we have two laundry baskets full. And go over here, sweetheart. She wants to see in the freezer. Oh, you want to see inside? And then in here. So we're going to divvy all this up and see how much of what. We're marking it down. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think? Is that crazy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, we sat here, we divvied up the meat. We divvied did. We divvied did, did, did good. So tell us what we have. All right, we got three rump roasts, eight chuck roasts, three sirloin tip roasts. Uh, now I've got to count, hang on, my math. We got nine stew meats. We've got five sirloin steaks. We've got nine ribeye steaks. Look at all that steak. Keep Packages. Packages. Most of them have two steaks in them each. Yeah. Um, we've got uh, eight New Yorks. <laughs> and we've got four beef tenderloins, one flank, 
one boneless pot roast yeah and two briskets dual briskets yeah so um not enough meat <laughs> okay so a lot of you were wondering what does it consist when you buy a cow well you can ask them what you want we didn't get any um we didn't get any ribs and things like that um but when you go to bring your cow to butcher you can request what you want and so your mom said no bones this time so we didn't get t-bone steaks but we got a lot of new york we got a lot of good cut of steak um so steak and roast and a lot of beef stew mm -hmm. so you can ask for the ribs you can ask for all that but we're like well the rest of it's all on our ground meat yeah so i mean ribs you definitely need a good place to store those and we could have stored them in here but but i think we talked about it and what did you want to do try to do next year so next year if we get a cow for well a third or half a cow again next year for christmas i want to save up and buy another half a cow just us so i can get my fancy cuts for smoking and stuff so we can get ribs we can get a ribeye roast um yeah. full brisket you know that type of stuff yeah you don't get a ton of steaks and stuff if you do it that way yeah so that's what it consists of to get a cow so now that we know what we have going in we're going to find it a home in the freezer yeah it shouldn't <laughs> be too hard no ah okay let's do this open up that freezer okay friends this is a freezer full of, of a half of a cow with steaks, ground beef, roast, and beef stew meat. Now, if there were ribs and stuff, it would take up probably that top shelf. So, this is our half of a cow. Merry Christmas. So, now I'm going to put in all the leftover meat that we had. We only had a little bit left from um, the last cow we had. I'm going to move that into here onto the top shelf so we could go through that first. And then this guy. So, that's what I'm going to do. And as of right now, here is our freezer. I put the leftover meat that we had, and basically it was just a few steaks, and two beef, two beef stew meats, and two roasts. That was it from our cow. We went through all of it. And our shrimp from Zacon Fresh, our Argentine shrimp. Oh, it's so good. And this is raw, guys. It, the Argentine shrimp is red. So, oh my goodness, we are set. Okay, guys, that is our half of a cow haul holy moly hope you enjoyed it you get an idea of what it's like to get a cow so there you go Derek is such a good help he is helping me peel and cut potatoes because we are going to make the corn chowder I love how messy my sheet protector is did you fill me with my messy hair are you serious yeah I did I did not am I going to get yes am I going to get in trouble I'm not done up am I going to get in trouble serious trouble nice okay so we're gonna make corn chowder to bring to Denise's Halloween party tonight so Derek is starting on the potatoes and I'm gonna start on the bacon 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 the bacon that's the best part of the whole soup I'm short I know well Derek and I decided to run away because quick date we haven't seen each other in a while and the rest of the month is gonna get crazy like always like always so we decided to run away and go eat lunch at Takano's because my favorite. yes because we I got a birthday club like my meals free so we decided let's run away let's do it before we the rest of the day gets absolutely crazy so yep yep be good hey guys we got all kacha Portuguese farm from sirloin sirloin about yeah. a medium rare I think a little more medium over on this side medium <laughs> rare Right here for you. Mm, thank you. Let's try that again. That looks like about a fat day. So this is the garlic sirloin right here. This is our favorite. Dinner was amazing, so we're taking a raspberry cheesecake home with us. Look at that. 
All right, the corn chowder is done. We're gonna take this over to Denise's. She just lives right up the road, so I'll just take it like this and not put it in a crock pot. But it is ready to go. And so are we. <laughs> oh, do you want to see what Derek is again this year? Looking for my baby. Oh, there he is. He's got a blow. Well, blow him up. Oh, yes. I'm letting her borrow my bean crate. So Derek's going to be the baby again. When we get there, he'll inflate, inflate it. That's the word. So let's go party. Denise style. Come in, come in. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, <laughs> she's got a scavenger hunt for us. Because her home is that awesome to do a scavenger hunt in. So I'm going to do this with Shaley. Oh, Derek found his partner. Found my mom. <laughs> mom. You found your mom. That's precious. That's your fan. Uh, he looks constantly. Poppers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Poppers. That is That's genius. Right. Okay. Oh, those are awesome. Isn't those great? Those are great. Derek, eat the first one so I don't have to. That's what I want to eat. I haven't found it. I haven't found it. Oh, my God. Fisher. Can I just have another one? Yeah, I'm sorry. Somebody took my leg. Use a spoon. Darn it. Somebody already took mine. That is just too much. 